Hey guys, welcome back for another Dragon Ball Legends video. In today's video, we're going to be going over the update that happened this week. I know I'm a little bit late with it, uh, but I did want to get you out the information. It should have came out like two days ago, I believe it was. But um, we're going to go ahead and jump into it. So, Dragon Ball Legends. First out, shout out to legends.dbz.space. If you're looking for any information, please make sure to go check out the website. It has a whole bunch of great, useful information. It is an extension to dbz.space, which is for Dokkan Battle. So, um... First things first, we have the update that came out, a big update announcement that came out on three days ago, 8.22. Um, let's see, Main Story Mission Part 2 Book 3 has been released. Added Z1 difficulty to job requests, and let me tell you, I've been doing those. Those job requests are insane. You get so many damn items now from those job requests, so much zenny. It actually makes the game a lot easier because you could actually, you know, get yourself to the next levels. Uh, getting your characters maxed out on the fourth uh, Soul Tree slot. It makes life a lot easier. Uh, tapping on each of the soul via menu item souls will now direct you to stories where respective souls are available. So that makes life a lot easier. Multiple mission rewards can now be accepted all at once. Oh my god, quality of life improvement. When you go in and you have to hit accept all and you have to click OK for every single goddamn reward, that could take up to like 30, 45 seconds, which I know doesn't sound like a lot of time. But oh my god, you have to do that freaking daily, and then on top of the other, on top of just the daily rewards, uh, you also have the regular mission rewards and the, the, the event special rewards. Oh my god, thank god that they finally did that. Uh, adjusted some character voices, I haven't noticed anything. Uh, adjusted uh, ranking points earning and rating matches with a ghost player. Uh, so I'm assuming that means with a player that is not uh, an actual human, it's like a CPU. So I'm assuming you'd be getting less. Um, issues fixed. When sele selecting multiple boost panels, error message any conditions that I have met may pop up. Send players back to the title screen. I experienced that once or twice, so that is a pain. The description of Krillin unique ability was found to be incorrect and was corrected accordingly. I, di I didn't know that. I'll have to double check on that. Before correction, restore own health by 25% when character Goku is a battle member. After connect to own health restoration when character Goku is a battle member. Wait, what? Uh, 25 to own health restoration. Oh. Uh, restore own health at 25%. Okay, 25 to own self. Yeah, okay. So you increase your health regeneration by 25% when Goku is a battle member. Pretty much means instead of rec recovering 25% health, you do an additional 25% when you use your main ability or when someone else uses a heal. So that's pretty damn awesome. About intentional disconnections, pretty much it just says that people will be suspended or banned from playing the game if there are intentional disconnections over time. Uh, it also says to make sure you report them, otherwise they will not know about the people, the players. So you have to go to PvP, Battle History, select the battle, the person you went up against, and hit Report. If someone continuously disconnects during battle, or if there's a whole bunch of lagginess, uh, I don't know if it's because they're lagging or not, but I'll just report, hit the Report button, so that way they are aware of what's going on. I mean, here's the thing, if, if you're going to be that leg, you shouldn't be playing PvP. It's going to ruin the game experience for you and everyone else involved. I don't mean to be the freaking, uh, you know, the, the guy who calls you out on, on something so stupid. But uh, there's no way to tell whether you're doing it purposely or whether you just uh, have a shitty internet connection. But I'm telling you that uh, I think that if you are going to be connecting to, uh, intentionally to ruin the PvP system, you're a scumbag. But that's just my opinion on the matter. Don't do it to freaking cheat. If, if it was against the computer, whatever, you do you, you know what I mean? But if you're going up against other people who want to play the game seriously, then, then don't be an asshole. Don't be that guy who ruins the game for everyone. But anyway, this runs, uh, well, this is a, this is part of it, and we'll continuously have to watch and see what they have to say about it. The training grounds have been renewed uh, on the 20th, or the 22nd, which pretty much means that uh, level restrictions for each of these, so if you're between level 1 to 299, you could only use the training weights, but you could use up to 10 of them at once, and when you use up to 10 of them, it looks like you get actually a, a buff, because when you use 10 of them at once, it gets you from level 1 to level 300, so you don't have to worry about running it over and over and over again, which is very useful. This one, the training weights, 200 kilograms, is from level 300 to, to 600 or 599. Uh, now, if you use all 10 of them, because there's a now 10 sl uh, slot for it, uh, it will get you all the way up to 600 from 300. Crate mil of milk cartons will get you from uh, 600 to 1000 without any issues when you use 10 of them. But when you get up to level 1000, uh, the actual gravity machine does not get you up to 1500. It gets you up to 1300, so you need to use 20 of them to get up to 1500. So you need to do two training sessions. You also have the silver bell. Um, I haven't used it, no level restriction, time efficient training ground that completes in just three minutes it was available. Uh, I haven't used it, but I know it does some decent XP. I haven't looked into it, but I have ten of them because I did a one multi-summon, um, on the actual Trunks and Vegeta banner, which we're gonna be discussing next. But, uh, yeah, I know it, it's, it's there and it's available. So that actually makes life a lot easier for getting your characters with a level 1000. So you don't need, no longer need to grind the damn experience um, training unless like you're trying to do multiple characters in case you summon on a banner and you have like five or six 
characters that are brand new. Um, this is the new space-time duel. The new space-time duel has begun. Uh, Vegeta is the new character that you get from the actual PvP battle. Sorry for that loud noise in the background. That was my Vegas Pro rendering my video. <laughs> uh, so, Big Bang Attack, Major Explode. I mean, he's only extreme, so it's not really that crazy. Uh, it's really his uh, special, uh, yeah, Z ability. That's the big thing. 22% to red element base strike attack and defense during battle, so he's going to be really good for our red team. So you definitely want to get his Z ability up past 3 as much as you possibly can. That just means a whole bunch of PvP and a whole bunch of the scout battle that's available. You also have the uh, introducing Clunks ex uh, Trunks uh, exclusive equipment, Mysterious Youth Trunks. Uh, slot 1, base key restore speed between 3 to 10%. Very, very useful. Uh, base blast defense 7 to 17.5%, which is alright. Um, and base strike attack plus 7 to 15%. So if you can get up to the 15% slot on the on the strike and the key restore speed up, that would be good. The defense is always very good, obviously, but there's a lot of other ways to be able to uh, prevent attacks. But your attack you always want to have up high, and if your key is should be, in my opinion, key is one of the number one things I focus on when I, when I attach items. If your key restore speed on an item is super high, I'll choose that over uh, one with a higher attack, just so that way I can launch more attacks. That's just my opinion on it. I'll have to look into it. I'll, I'll do a video of what I think is best one day. Um, but yeah, that's about it. <clears throat> do this and uh, it looks like ranking rewards. We have a whole bunch of chrono crystals and everything, which pretty much the standard stuff. Uh, the higher you get, the better, the more crystals you get. Uh, so ranks 51 to 100, 600 rare metals, 200 chrono crystals, and 100,000 zenny. That's what I'm shooting for. Um, between 51 to 100 is usually what I go for. If I can get up to the top 50, that would be great. 300 Chrono Crystal, 700 Rare Metals, 150 million Zenny, or 150,000 Zenny. Not bad. Um, Scout Battle's also here. It's the same exact Vegeta. You just go and do that. You also get a whole bunch of cool um, of the Rising Rush or Rising Souls. So go ahead and grind that out. I still haven't done this. I've been uh, focusing on the Nappa event. Um, we have the new characters as well. This is the new banner that was available that I said I summoned on. Uh, I summoned on this. I got the Trunks. Both these cards are good. I know a lot of people hype these cards up to be like super freaking OP and super insane. Uh, I think they're very good. They have unique abilities. I don't think it's worth summoning on. I did one summon just because I want to test my luck. Plus, I want to, I, I would have not been upset with like a dupe of the Super Saiyan Goku because he's kind of getting weak. Uh, the Vegeta, I really want. I use him a lot in PvP. So I'd like some dupes of him. And the Trunks is not bad at all either. Uh, and there is a new 17. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I wanted to give it a shot. I did one multi summon. Plus, I wanted to test out that training item to see what it was like. Uh, I didn't actually use it, but I wanted to see how much experience it got. Um, so that's why I did it. Anyway, these two units we're going to talk about right now. This is the Vegeta. Uh, let's see, at level 1500, uh, strike attacks 33,000, blast attacks 42,000. So he has a super high blast attack. Um, he's going to be a blast attack focused character main ability draw ultimates card uh, arts card final chase uh, require 25 timer counts must elapse unique ability bl pride blast attack up blast damage inflicted increases according to the number of timer counts elapsed with the current character up to 70 percent once you hit 15 timer counts you get an additional 70 percent to your blast damage so with the 42,000, you get an additional 70 percent which is almost like oh jesus freaking uh you almost have a double double the amount of blast damage just from letting 15 timer counts elapse which is insane um immediate Blast defense down, inflict attribute downgrades, plus 20% to blast damage received to enemy every time this character goes on the battlefield, 10 timer counts. So when he switches over onto the battlefield, you get 20% more additional blast damage uh, for 10 timer counts to the enemy. So the enemy is going to receive more. So I mean, honestly, it's just kind of like a trade-off. Uh, after 10 timer counts, when you go up to 60% from 40%, they lose the 20% damage increase. So it's like a little bit of a trade-off. I think you actually do more damage when they are taking 20% more damage received than when you do 20% more damage. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's what, how that works. But uh, yeah, that, I mean, he's not a bad card. Very, very good, especially after 15 timer counts elapsed. You just save up your key and you just use strike attacks and stuff until um, until you've been there for 10, 15 uh, se counts, seconds, and then you start launching them and your, your opponent's pretty much gonna die. One good thing, uh, his special move, Final Flash, First off, it's Final Flash. I love Final Flash, uh, but it's straight line, so it's not that stupid freaking line across, which is a pain in the ass. Deals major impact damage. Um, enemies receive 10% more blast damage for 15 timer counts. So if you switch over to him, after the enemy has dodged, you launch a Final Flash, then you could launch um, a, uh, a Key Blast. They're going to do a lot of damage to get done to the opponent. Um, unlock Key Form of Attack, plus 15 to blast damage, inflict 15 timer counts, minus 5 to own Blast Arts card for 10 timer counts. 
super super useful you definitely want to use those uh and ultimate special final chase deals major impact plus 30 percent to own key recovery for 10 timer counts this car this car is very very good all right i i don't want to say it like because i know i said earlier in the video like they're not as op as people are making them out to be they are very good i don't think that they're game breaking i think when you're using them these characters it's going to benefit you to keep them on the field for as long as you can um they do they, they they can they will do a lot of damage to the opponent just keep in mind that uh, unless you get matched up with uh, someone who doesn't know how to play the game it's very easy to dodge it's very easy to change out characters and i mean once a rising rush i don't care who you are unless you have a super high defense a rising rush is probably going to kill you even if you unless you have like full type advantage and have like a full soul tree system and the opponent doesn't i mean mo most of the time that i kill someone with a rising rush it's because i won't change out the character that i have with weaker attribute and i'll just keep on launching attacks attacks and dodging and i'll take a little bit of attacks and stuff and i'll go after them until i have a full rising rush and then i'll go after them again i'll, I'll get up my key meter to max i'll go after them and once i'm done launching launching the last attack that i could use with all my key then i launch the rising rush and they're pretty much dead because they're already at like maybe three quarters to half health um and then I'll launch it in and they'll end up dying. And then I'm like, oh, what the hell happened? Then I have them. It's usually my Piccolo. And then uh, I'll just use the heal on Piccolo. Then I'll switch over to Curl and use another heal. And Piccolo will be maxed health. And I'll switch back over to Piccolo and my opponent gets pissed off. But that's just my opinion. That's how I do things. Um, Trunks over here, he's the same thing as Vegeta, except he is for strikes. His strike attack is 45,000, which is a little bit higher than Vegeta's 42 or 43,000. Um, his main ability, plus 75% to strike damage inflicted for 10 timer accounts. Um... 10% to own strike car oh okay plus 10 to own strike art cost that's insane and minus 50% to own vanish and key gauge recovery insane that's really good for 15 timer counts um requirements 15 timer counts must the left uh, I think I like trunks I, I have trunks so I'm very happy with this um I need to go in but the thing is he he is technique or he is green I already use all my green on the bardock and piccolo so I have to grind so much out for him now um he's gonna be really good for my say oh no he's hybrid saiyan uh, unique ability, inflict attribute downgrades 20% to uh, strike damage received to enemy every time this character goes on the battlefield. Um, so the enemy's going to be doing get, getting 20% more strike damage once he gets on the field. And uh, key recovery up, avenge Vegeta, plus 30% to key recovery when allied Vegeta is defeated. So if you run this one with the Vegeta and Vegeta dies, he gets plus 30% to key recovery all the time. Which is awesome, because it doesn't say like a, a specific timer. Special Buster Cannon deals major explode damage. Cause enemy to receive plus 10% more strike damage for 15 timer counts. Extra, his special arts ability, plus 15% to strike damage inflicted for 15 timer counts, plus 10% chance to inflict a feint for 10 timer counts upon landing a strike arts hit. Awesome, I love it. Um, and that's pretty much it. I'll look like tag based equipment. You could use all these gold items on him, so use what you can. Again, key orb, uh, I mean, key restore is probably gonna be the best one. Uh, I don't know who to say is better between the two of them. I personally like trunks because I'm a strikes arts card type of a person, I don't like blast arts cards. But uh, that's just my opinion on the matter. I use them, but that's usually just to, like, get the opponent to dodge. Even if the key ones don't work, like the one-tap key, uh, I'll use the Blast Arts cards to get them to dodge. Um, or I'll use it to knock them back so I could use my strike attacks. So that's why I use, mostly use uh, strike attack damage characters. Um, last but not least, it's the free-to-play Extreme 17. Um, I haven't actually looked at him yet. Uh, he obviously is extreme, so his strike attacks 33,000, Blast attacks uh, 27,000 at 1,500, level 1,500. Uh, limitless Energy Main Ability, plus 60% to Key Recovery. Not bad. Unique ability, sustained damage, got reduced damage received by 20% until combo ends when changing cover. Okay, not bad. Uh, not great, but not bad. Extreme unit, plus 20% to strike damage inflicted for 15 timer counts, and plus 3 to own substitution count when activated. Yeah, ew, I don't like that. Uh, special full power energy ball deals major explode damage, plus 15% to blast damage inflicted for 15 timer counts. Eh. And um, he might be good with uh, to run alongside Vegeta, if you don't have any good units, if you're just starting out. Extra unlock key uh, form of attack plus 20% to strike damage for 20 timer counts, and he is a strike attack camera character. Not bad. Um, and his Z ability plus 70% to red base blast attack and defense during battle. Not bad. Good for red character to use blast attack. Oh, I'm sorry. And the, the trunks is Z ability uh, plus 19% to Saiyan, the hybrid Saiyan base strike attack and defense. Uh, not horrible. There's not really a lot. There's four of them here. Pan kind of sucks, but the two trunks and the Gohan are actually pretty. So. And Vegeta is... I didn't talk about him. Plus 19% tech to Super Saiyan base blast attack uh, and critical damage during battle. Which to me means I could actually run now a, Super Saiyan, a full Super Saiyan team. Minus the Vegeta because I have Goku. Um, I have Trunks. Oh, not a full one, but very close to. Uh, I have Goku, Trunks, Goku, Vegeta, and Trunks. Uh, man, I really wish I got that Broly. That Broly is still very OP. But it's alright. 
But overall, pretty good. I mean, it's not a horrible banner. These two are definitely worth it. If you get one of the two, it's definitely worth it. I would not say go ham on this banner because we have... Remember, we still have the cell games coming up. So you're going to want to probably go for the ultimate cell life, the ultimate life form cell. And you're probably want to go for the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. I could see that us getting <clears throat> another, like a Gohan and Goku, like a Super Saiyan 1 Kid Gohan with a Super Saiyan Goku next. And then the next one after that, I could possibly, because we still remember, uh, we haven't gotten cell second form. So we're probably going to get a cell second form. Um, and like, like, actually, let me see. Let me double check the actual characters. Uh, I know we haven't had a sparking cell second form. We also haven't had a sparking cell first form. So we might get like a, a cell second form with a Goku and a Gohan. And that would probably be the next banner that's available. Yeah, we don't have any cell second form. So I can see that being a thing. But I don't know. It might just jump right to the Super Saiyan 2 and ultimate uh, ultimate life form cell. But uh, we'll have to wait and see. But I think they're going to give us a final uh, a, a, a good a goodbye, guys. Uh, Goku, you know what I mean? But uh, anyway, that's it. Thank you for joining me here today. I hope that was helpful and informative. I was super hyped for this banner. I'm very happy that I pulled the trunks. Uh, I've gotten to level 1500. I just haven't fed anything into his dupe system because I have been focusing on that Nappa event. Um, once I'm done with the Nappa event, I'm going to start focusing on the Vegeta Scout Battle. I might, I, I honestly might just switch over to the Vegeta Scout Battle now just because there's not, there's only like 100 Chrono Crystals left. And that stuff does come back. Uh, at least it has in the past. But uh, anyway, guys, thank you again for joining me today. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new. I'll catch you down in the comments below. Peace.